get a frustrating result today? Can I get your thoughts on the performance? Well, I think that first of all you have to do what a lot of people do is they look at only the last part of the game, and I'm not really, you know, the last kind of 30, 35 minutes of the game doesn't really interest me that much because um, the game is done by that time. And, it's about then us maintaining a desire to stay in the game, and, and they did that. The players didn't buckle. It um, was realistic that the game was finished at that point. But before that, um, I thought first half, despite the scoreline, I was pleased with a lot of aspects of it. I thought I understand how we wanted to play. I thought our threat, middle of the front, was really good. I thought we created opportunities. Um, I think it's obvious to say that we made individual mistakes and they cost us goals, and we were punished. And that is an example of the ruthlessness that top Premiership sides show. So I have no complaints, obviously, over the results. Um, there's bits of the performance that could have been better, particularly from players individually. But there's parts of the performance that were good, particularly in the first half. And so, for us, it's a learning experience. We're very disappointed, and actually, that it'd be remiss to say it doesn't matter. We're focused on the league. We wanted to come here and win the game and stay in the cup. And it's a disappointed changing room because of that. But sometimes you have to take the feet in the chin, um, learn from them, and move on. And that group will certainly do that. Yeah, like you say, maybe did start the game quite well. Morgan had that very early chance that was blocked then give away a penalty, what was your view on the penalty kick? Yes, yeah, penalty kick is a poor decision, but Sterling, Sterling has to, to go to the ground in the box and um, that's that individual decision making that, that can cost you at a higher level as well. So, you know, the message at half time with things like that is there's never anything you can do to rectify a mistake that's already been, you can only affect what lies ahead and then it becomes down to, to an individual player or a team's reaction to mistakes. So, um, you know, we then look at it more closely during the week. So yeah, it's a, it's a penalty kick. I said it's, um, it's a wrong decision to go to ground, and that's what happens when you do that. If you look at the, the three goals that were given away, obviously the fourth goal from Gary McCaskey, you can't really argue with the mm. strike there, but the other three soft goals to give away, is that frustrating for you? Yeah, because you go back to the, the how I felt at half-time, you know, we thought we had to well for the last parts of the first half. And the first one we've already spoken about, the second one, I think, um, a little bit of too straight a pass we played in the middle of the park that causes a problem and that happens against good teams as well um, and the third one again is a poor defensive clearance and individual mistake so and particularly at that time because I thought at 2-1 um, we were in the ascendancy I thought we looked like we believed we could score again in the game um, and that was really what we were trying to take out to start the second half but when, when a goal of that quality is scored against it start the second half there isn't a lot you can do with yeah, like you say, there's not an awful lot you can do with that. That sort of killed the game as a contest as well. In terms of some of the positive aspects today, it must have been nice to get game time for Ryan Flynn and Mark Hill today. Yeah, I just mentioned that when we go 4 1 down, we, we have to make a decision about how we manage the rest of the game. It's not been negative, it's just that group um, don't deserve to, to be in the end of really heavy scoreline. So we had the choice to make in that respect, um, and then also it allowed us to, to look at getting Mark and Ryan, particularly game time, and, and so they did, and I thought they both affected the game well, I think they both looked like they'd be assets for us, which I know they will, so I will always look to take the positives I can from the game, but equally, not just for my players, but for me and my staff, it, you know, every defeat is a learning experience, every win's a learning experience, and for us we'll reflect on the things that we did well today and the things we didn't do so well. It's happened a few times this season whenever there's been a setback, the reaction to it has been really good. How important is that to go again this Friday night against Dunfermline? Yeah, the reaction, I have absolutely no concerns over that. This it is a separate game of cup tie, and it's against not just the Premiership team, but the team that's the second in the Premiership and has been for a number of years now. And they are a, a really good side with really good individual players. And, uh, so the, the players will, will respond without any shadow of a doubt. You know, that's my job to make sure they do that as well. But they will, you know, have complete faith and trust in that group. And, Part of that is the reason why we played the game the way we did today, particularly in the first half. We wanted to try and be effective going forward. We didn't want to come here and, and just sit in because we believe we've got good players. And, and at times they showed that. Um, and as I mentioned, I think individually a lot of those players will be better for today. And just but finally, a word on the sport. It's nearly 600 to make the journey up today. Given that it was on TV, 12-15 kick-off, that's a, a great crowd and they, they chanted throughout the whole 90 minutes. Yeah, they were, they were um, terrific today. I mean, we speak about them all the time, but I think players, I think the reaction to the players at the end of the game shows that as well. We, I said I take no satisfaction out from not giving them a victory today or not giving them a, a, a replay, you know, because I want to win every game for them, but I think they still appreciate there's a team out there that is doing his utmost to win every single game. It won't always happen, but um, our gratitude towards them is consistent. And The numbers, as you mentioned, the travelling today, but the, the level of the vocal support they gave us was outstanding and um, very much appreciated by me, the players and the staff, and, and you know, hopefully they're safe all the time. Jack, thanks very much for your time. Cheers, Uncle. Cheers, Uncle.